Well, we spent most of the show in the kitchen already. Today we've passed along recipes for some great cream cheese stuffed French toast and how to make a great cup of coffee. Now we're back in the kitchen to share a recipe for perfect pan seared sea bass. For that, we turn to local chef Tom Shoemaker. Hey, Tom, welcome hey. back. Thanks, it's good to be here. I, I had a question for you before we came on camera, and I said, sea bass, is that what we call rockfish? Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it's it the is. same there's, thing. Yeah, very, there's a, quite a number of names that you really can call the, this type of a white fish. Yeah. Yeah. And this recipe that we're making today is very versatile. And we've got a beautiful finished plate. Oh, there goes a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> it's running away. It escaped. <laughs> and, and we're going to make that, show you how to make that today. That is absolutely beautiful. And so you've got the, the sea bass into the, the skillet, hot skillet. You've already got some what in there? Uh, what's in there is a little bit of onions and a little bit of mushrooms. And then we have basil and some garlic and some um, oil. Mm. and uh, some olive oil. This cooks really, really fast. What you really want to do is cook one side, and then we have all the vegetables that we're going to do uh, put with it, and it's all farm to table from locally grown farmers that we use at the community. So, and, and, and that was and just a, one a drop pan of oil. Dish too, right? Yeah, one pan dish. Yeah, it's only 271 calories. Ooh. Yeah. So this is very healthy a lot after of oil. you have your French toast and everything in the morning. <laughs> so. As you can see, it's starting to pink up a little bit, and then we're going to turn it, and then we're going to be adding the vegetables to it. Is so, that how you know, Chef, that if, it's, if the side you can see starts to turn pink, the yes. other side's getting done? Yes, and that's exactly how it is. And you can see the colors are beginning to change, and even you can see the texture within the fish mm -hmm. starting. So, And now we're going to make a little turn with it. And by layering it with the onions and mushrooms and oil, does that infuse the fish with the flavor? Right. It's a flavor enhancement. It really, really makes things come out and flavorful and you and can you see it's a little brown. you got those chef fingers too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the hot the, didn't bother yeah, him the, a bit. Not at all. <laughs> and then we're going to start laying in our, our vegetables. We're going to put some fresh spinach. Which wilts very quickly. Very quickly and that's what it is. This whole dish will, will be done in two to three minutes really. Mm -hmm. So and, and most of it's some presentation that we have going. So we're doing this, and then we're going to deglaze it with some red wine just to give it that little bit of flavor. We have all the flavors coming through, some salt, some, some of the spices, and then the wine just tops it off and brings it all out. So Gives it that umami. Exactly. <laughs> that what? Umami. That, that, that's oh, the umami, new flavor. that's good. <laughs> there you go. That's what you got. That's the new flavor sensation is that the kind of, uh, yes. I guess, um, What's the word I'm looking for? Infuse things Inf with, yeah. and, they, and they like to add all those flavors. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a little so bit. some citrus. Some citrus, and we like using lime. Lime is a, you, most people like lemons, things like this, but a lime really adds a little bit of a different sort of a flavor to things and kind of brightens it up. It's more of a summer. You know, we're heading toward the end of summer pretty soon. We'll be making all the fall stuff, and snow will be flying, and we'll see how oh, many no, no, feet no, no, we're no, going to no. Don't get. say the S word, no. <laughs> all right. So, and you've still got stuff left over here. You got mushrooms, and, and that went in first. Right. Yeah. The mushrooms went in first, a little yeah. bit of onion. And then what we're going to do is we're, today we're going to put it over couscous. But you can use this over salad. Again, very versatile for the summertime. You mm -hmm. can you put it over salad. You can put it over pasta. Rice. Different kinds of rices. Brown mm -hmm. rice is the most healthiest. So, uh, as you so see, we're about there. ready. We mm -hmm. can start plating it up. Okay. Going to put down some of our couscous right here. And then there's you had a little quinoa in there as well. A little quinoa. Want all the flavors and all that goodness in there. And then what you want to do is just start taking this out and layering it up. And again, I'll use my other spatula. And oh, that tender fish just broke apart right there on the. Oh, uh, and it will. It out. And that's when you know that it's really done. Sea bass is a real tender fish and a fish that really uh, uh, is flavored by what you're putting in it. It doesn't have what you would call a fishy flavor. And yeah. when we're cooking at home, we and want to whip to the spinach too. just a little bit more. Exactly. And what we're <laughs> going to do, too, is we're going to pour everything over it, especially if you had a salad. This is all, this will becomes your dressing. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to add any other sorts of dressings. So we're just going to build this like this. Now, did you add the wine? Did I see you? Did I miss that? Do you know? <laughs> you are so good. I, I thought you would catch the wine part. I was, and, I, I was actually just watching the bottle. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we will, we will, we will get the little bit of wine, and you can have a sip. And, uh, and oh, that goes in before you Exactly. Yeah. And, and that's, that's really <laughs> the, uh, Our official taste the end of it. And, well, you got some fruit to put in there, too. 
This is, I'm so forgetful this morning. This is Well, only a, because I see the finished product, so I know what goes there. Cheryl, we, you gotta taste that. We like to add a little bit of something extra, and we have, again, the toward the end berries. of the slum, the seasonal berries. And again, it just adds a different sweetness and a different flavor to it, and also looks good on the plate. It makes it look so elegant, just yeah. adding a few little berries. It and pops. you said this is one serving under 300 calories. Hold on, what? Now I didn't hear that part. <laughs> 271 calories. Cheryl, right here. We'll put this recipe online at wtbr.com slash vtm by early this afternoon.